Hi, it's Adam Lear from Next Edition here. Today, I want to show you a, a little thing that we put together for a demo the other day, and I thought it'd be interesting to share with you. Uh, we created a, a, a kind of a feature called uh, Auto Replay. And what Auto Replay does, it puts a button here in my shop box that I can just push this button. And when I push it, um, it will set an out point on an ingest scheduler. So the ingest scheduler is recording, in this case, three channels. So we're taking basically cameras one, two, and three, feeding them into an ingest scheduler. And then when we push the button, we get an out point upon each of those channels. Then the system will go back a preset amount of time. So in this case, it's five seconds. So it will go back five seconds and set an in point and then clip off each of the three channels the same moment in time. And it will bring that into a specific search in the system, which then populates a linear playout asset, which will line up the three clips and play them in order automatically. So therefore, what I'm doing is as soon as I push auto replay when something happens, the system will skip back five seconds, clip three uh, ISO cameras and throw them into a replay for me to take straight away. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how that actually works. Um, so let's bring the system up here. Um, so what you can see here, this is my uh, this is my live game here. And you can see I've got um, I've got a wipe here and another wipe here. And in between these two wipes, I actually have um, a dynamic linear clips uh, asset here. And the dynamic linear clip is looking for a specific search. So the specific search we want it to look for is replays, okay? So it's looking for replays. We'll give it a weight of zero so that it's absolutely spot on. Uh, and uh, we set a duration for 60 seconds. Um, so actually what I really want to do, it's only gonna be three uh, clips. So we'll set a duration for 15 seconds to override that. And there we go, okay. so. This now is ready to receive anything that lands in this replay search. So what's in the replay search? Let's have a look, okay? So anything that's a video with the tag of replay goes into this search. And this search then feeds, as we saw just now, the uh, linear play out uh, here on the dynamic linear players. So how do we get to that point? Okay, so the next thing we have to do is look at the actual uh, auto replay ingest here. So I'm just gonna open this up. And you can see here, we've got three channels. So we're taking channel one, channel two, and channel three on the ingest, and we're bringing them into this auto replay ingest, which is set to salami mode. So normally we have a instant record, so you create a growing file or a repeat record. So on a Monday at seven o'clock, you record for half an hour. In this case, salami is the clipping mode inside the system. So this is what allows live gallery one here to be in clipping mode. Now, uh, a couple of other things that are quite interesting here is um, we can also send these replay clips to a specific storyboard where we're going to collect them in a pipeline called new replay clips so that people can manage whether they're approved or on ice or whether we want to send them for AI analysis, for example. So I'll show you that at the end. Um, and also we have the ability to publish these three channels. So whatever we clip here, as soon as it comes off the ingest, we can actually send it somewhere else. So let's open this up and have a look. We can, for instance, we could send it to an FTP server. So if we had a client who required all of the clips from the replays, we could automatically send them to an FTP server so that they could pick them up in an edit suite or something like that. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna, for this one, I'm gonna make a Facebook uh, post for this one. And maybe for this one, we'll make a YouTube post. So basically it will generate two, a Facebook post and a YouTube post. They can either be automatic or they could be manual. So I'm set to manual in my publishes here, so that's fine. Uh, and finally up here in the top, here's the tag replay that we add. So when we create these clips, these three clips, they will get the tag replay. And of course, then they will go over here into the replays and then they'll go into the rundown. So let's, uh, let's have a little look at how that's gonna actually work. Um, so here in the rundown, I'm just gonna set it into live mode right now. And um, let's bring it back so you can just see that. Okay, so here's the live game. Here's where the wipes are, both the wipes top and bottom, and we're gonna see the clips appearing in this part here. So uh, let's just start that process. So we stepped into the game here. Obviously I can cut cameras, camera two here, you know, I can go camera one, back to here. I can see that he's gonna kick it on camera three. Well, I'm not the best director in the world. Okay, go back to camera two here. It's rolled out for a corner. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at that corner, see if we can, uh, Get some of the action on the replay. Uh, let's get some of the argy bargy around the goal there. See what's going on. You can see on camera two, there's the goalkeeper. Back, oh, I caught a whip pen. <laughs> Again, I'm not the best director in the world. Uh, there's, there's on the corner here. So uh, let's go back to the wide and we're ready for the action. So when the corner's taken, whatever happens here, I will just push the auto replay button. And then from that point, we will do the slice. So here we go. Okay. 
in auto replay. Okay. Now then, let's see what happens here. Okay, it's sliced. It's ready to go, and now I can do the replay. So here's camera one. Here's camera two. And camera three is behind the goal. So here's camera three to do the reverse angle. And the replay graphics now just gone off because we timed that at 14 seconds. And there's a wipe back into the live game. And now I can cut the cameras on the live game as before. So completely automated. So as you can see, that's a really dynamic way to get this replay playing out through the system without using any uh, external systems at all. We're just basically keeping everything inside of Next. And uh, again, just to finish off, uh, if I just bring uh, the system back up again here, um, I'm going to actually just say, uh, okay, let's go back to the root of the search here. And we can actually see here's the Facebook publish. So I can take that replay and publish it to Facebook. And I can take the YouTube publish. So remember that it, it clipped it off. Uh, with those publishes under the uh, in the ingest schedule. So now I've actually sent these both to uh, Facebook and to um, and to YouTube. So now I can see here that this is this one's published to Facebook here, and uh, we get the green tick here to tell us this is published to YouTube. So let's have a quick look, and we also get the name of the title. I could have changed that as well, but you can see it's uh, it's gone straight there for that one. And let's go to the Facebook publish here, and we'll click on that. And here it is in Facebook as well. So there we go. Very simple, very fast. Publishing to social media, creating replays in real time, fully automated on a single button push, uh, and automatically populating rundowns. Uh, that's what Next Edition is all about, about making things fast so that you can be first and accurate. Uh, so that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you want to know more, please get in touch. You can find us on nextedition.com. You can subscribe to this channel. And uh, I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for your time.